So my plan here is I've got a bit of corrugated iron and I've got a bit of aluminium pipe which I've actually cut out of a fence and for now I'm just going to stick it all down with a bit of liquid nails. So I've, my aluminium tubes have now, are now hardened on, stuck on with glue on the inside um, and I've, what I've done is I've painted it too, just one coat and I've just scraped the paint off here because I'm actually going to stick the two together now so I just needed to scrape the paint off so it sticks better so uh, yeah I'll go ahead and do that now Alright, so next thing I'm going to do is put a bit of expanding foam in the bottom down here. If it works. Let's try that again. Hmm. So the foam's cured now, next thing is just go along with a knife and cut it all out. So the next thing I've done here is I've gone down to the local beach and I've got a bucket full of dry sand. Um, I've made sure the sand's dry because wet sand is harder to heat than dry sand. And what I'm thinking is quite fine sand and what I'm thinking is I'll take this sand and I'll pour the sand down each one of these fins here. And I'm thinking the sun's going to heat these fins up and then it's going to transfer its heat to the sand which in turn is going to transfer it to the heating pipes here. So yeah, I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I've foamed all that up now, and what I've got is a little tube here that a thermometer can slide down, a probe, and I'm going to slide that in here somewhere, slide that in there. Like that. Yeah, so next thing I'll do here is I'm going to draw my holes for my inlet hose and my outlet hose, and this here will just slide in like that basically. Um, I've thread sealed the thread and I'll silicon this on and I'll also hose clamp it on just for extra waterproofness and tightness so yeah right, so I've got my hole there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of liquid nails in there just to give it a little bit of strength because there's going to be this is going to rotate remember so that's going to be I want that joint to be nice and nice and hard so I'll put a bit of that on
Okay, so I've made the heater up now. All I need to do is give it a bit of a paint tonight. And the way I've done this is I've got two inlet hoses here and two outlet hoses at the top. The reason I've got two inlet hoses is this is a smaller diameter pipe than the feed pipe. So if I was to go through one, just one of these, it's going to put more pressure on the pump and I'm going to need more heat. So by doing two inlets, um, I'm actually basically doubling the size of that pipe as far as I can tell. Um, and it'll just slowly move up these fins heating up and then it will come out down the outlet pipe when it's done. On top of that I'll have the solenoid closes off at night time on the outlet pipe so that all the water drains out of the fins back into the system and doesn't freeze in the fins overnight. So this is the actual case that'll hold the solar heater. Um, it'll have a bit of this twin wall polycarbonate on top and a bit of, I'll put a bit of foam around these edges and I'll when it, when it closes I'll make it compress it and squash it down and try and keep the air out as much as I can. Here's the two inlet pipes and here's the two outlet pipes that I was talking about and that little box up there later on I'm going to put that'll be where a thermometer will go I'll explain why I've had to put that in a separate box later on in a different video and obviously I'll also have the probe to measure the heat of the fins uh, which is a separate probe again um, yeah, so that's it.